Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make my North Indian dum aloo in your instant pot. Instant pot is amazing if you want to make lots of food in a quick amount of time and you don't want lots of dishes. This is going to be a one pot recipe, so let's get started right now. So first thing you'd want to do is make your potatoes. I'm going to steam them in my instant pot. And for baby potatoes that I'm using today, it's going to be just about five minutes of steam time to get those completely nice and tender. Now, while the potatoes are steaming, we can prepare the other ingredients. So in a blender, add in your onions, garlic and ginger with a bit of water and then puree that really well. Take that out and in the same blender, add in your tomatoes and then blend that as well. Now you can take that aside as well and then add in your cashews with a bit of water to puree that. I've soaked my cashews in warm water for about 15 to 20 minutes just to help make them kind of soft and it'll help make that puree much easier and much more creamier. And don't worry too much about rinsing out that blender. It's all going to come together at the end anyways. Okay, so now set your instant pot to saute mode and then add in your ghee. You can use olive oil if you want as well and then add in your whole spices so that's going to be some cinnamon bay leaf green cardamom and cloves also add in cumin seeds and heing and let everything get really nice and fragrant once it's all aromatic add in your onion ginger and garlic paste and just let that splutter and let that cook down now we'll also put in some of our spices so add in your daigi mirch to add some nice red color and some ground coriander as well. Give that a good mix and you want to cook this down until this mixture has become kind of dried and most of that moisture has cooked out. And you'll know it's ready when that mixture is really nice and fluffy and easy to slide around the pan. And be very careful at this stage to make sure nothing gets stuck at the bottom. And if you ever feel nervous or anxious that something is sticking, just add in a splash of water and then scrape out anything that has potentially stuck. Now once you have something that looks a bit like this, add in your pureed cashews. And we'll do the same steps like earlier. We'll mix it well, we'll cook it well until it has kind of reduced, it has thickened by a lot. And make sure you don't let anything get stuck at the bottom. Then add in your pureed tomatoes and we'll follow the exact same steps. By cooking it down and then adding water later on to make the gravy, we're creating a more intense and more flavorful gravy. Now while that masala is cooking down, we can peel our baby potatoes. And once you peel all of it and your mixture is ready, your masala is ready, then add in your baby potatoes right in to that instant pot. Just cook this for about two or three minutes and just let those potatoes absorb all of those beautiful flavors. Now add in your water. Now we are at the end, the end game of this dish and we want to create our gravy. So add in about one and a half to two cups of water and just let that come up to a simmer. When it does, turn that heat down and then just let that simmer for a few minutes or until the gravy has become nice and thick. Once you get closer to the stage, we can start finishing our dish by adding in some of our dried kasuri methi or dried fenugreek leaves. Just crush it lightly in between your hands and then add in your garam masala in there as well. Give that a good mix, simmer that for one to two minutes or as long as it takes for it to reach the gravy consistency that you like. And once you're happy with it, add in lots of cilantro for garnish give that a good mix and then serve this right away or keep warm in the instant pot until you're ready to serve i'm gonna have this today with my onion paratha and i'm gonna save a bit for some rice later on so let me know down below if you're gonna try this recipe and if you've already tried the stovetop version i'll be curious to see if you were able to get the same flavors if better in the instant pot also, there are other variations of dum aloo. Some are sweeter, richer, some have a stuffing right in the middle of that potato. Let me know if you've had any of those variations before. And if you have, which one is your favorite? For more videos just like this one, be sure to hit subscribe, 
hit that bell icon and i'll see you guys again on the next one bye guys